Louisville, Kentucky, Brad Hankison, the former Louisville Metro Police detective charged for his role in the fatal shooting of Breonna Taylor nearly two years ago, was found not guilty of three counts of wanton endangerment on Thursday. The jury of eight men and four women received the case against Hankison just before noon after five days of witness testimony and a morning of closing arguments. Jurors deliberated for about three hours before returning the verdict. A judge told Hankison he was free to go shortly after the verdict was read. Hankison fired 10 rounds into Taylor's apartment through a covered glass door and window during the attempted search warrant execution gone wrong. Three of those rounds traveled into an adjacent apartment with a man, pregnant woman and five-year-old child inside. Though Taylor's death is inextricably linked to Hankison's case, she is not the victim in the trial, which attorneys frequently reminded jurors. On one side, defense attorney Stu Matthews likened his client's actions to that of New York City police and firefighters, running toward the Twin Towers on September 11, 2001, as others ran away. Hankison could have fled, he said, but instead returned fire to protect his fellow officers. They run towards the danger, he said of first responders. And that's what Brett Hankison did here. But prosecutor Barbara Maines Whaley said Hankison's actions actually endangered those fellow officers, in addition to people in the apartment next to Taylor's, Cody Atherton, Chelsea Knapper and her son, Zayden. All it would have taken was a small change in a bullet's trajectory to have produced a vastly different outcome, she said. His wanton conduct could have multiplied one tragic death by three, Whaley said. After closing arguments, three alternate jurors, two men and a woman, were chosen at random and dismissed while the other 12 were sent to deliberate. Wanton endangerment, a Class D felony, is punishable by one to five years in prison. Hankison pleaded not guilty to the charges against him and had been free on bail since his September 2020 indictment.